Welcome to the UTC Marketplace here in San Diego, California. I am driving on a $5.50 promo on DoorDash, but we're testing a theory here. A theory that's saying the higher the bonus goes, the lower the gross revenue per hour. Now, this exact plaza was my hotspot. This is my go-to area when I drive for UTC. And I drove the shift here for weeks and weeks and weeks. But my strategy has been shifting a little bit to stay in my current marketplace, my home marketplace. That's Mission Valley and taking slightly less bonuses, maybe $3, $3.50. But on a five fifty on the weekend, on Saturday, let's see if I make some good money. We're on live right now. And while we're waiting for our first order, this channel is dedicated to your success in this gig economy. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. And speaking of delivery, I did an entire masterclass. It's on yourdrivermike.com. It's to maximize income, minimize expenses, know your numbers, and be prepared on the road. Make sure to check that out. And also, I'm not going to hide the fact that I'm getting slowly more and more sunburned from, from all the beach trips here. Sending some sun, some Cali sun and good vibes your way. Now let's get an order <laughs> quickly. All right, good sign, stacked order. Now here's something that I'm thinking of that may help combat slow shifts. I had a shift yesterday in the Mission Valley market segment and it was dead. I'm talking about waiting an hour or so in between orders and it was on a $4.50 promo. It wasn't even this one, this is 550. So consider this when selecting your marketplaces and your shifts. Now here in UTC, I know I've driven this marketplace plenty of times and it's never really been dead versus Mission Valley, what I drove yesterday. I've driven that before a good amount of times and it, it has been dead before. This is where your market expertise comes into play. Say, well, generally I know that this area is usually busier and it's not really ever dead versus this other area. Well, yeah, that's sometimes hit or miss. Sometimes it's pretty good, but sometimes it does get dead. So that's another thing to consider. Not only, I mean, hey, service level, who's paying me the most, right? The peak pay bonuses, but that doesn't tell the whole story. Think about that actual marketplace. Think about the hotspots. I'm sitting at a hotspot, I'm back in the plaza. So you'll know over time that, hey, just because this one market segment has a $3 peak pay bonus and that's your market max, doesn't mean that you should just jump all over it. Maybe go for the 250 that you're more familiar with and has proven to be consistently busy. Now, obviously there's no guarantees that a marketplace is going to be busy versus another one, but I know here in UTC, this plaza, it's got a lot of popular restaurants and there's a ton of high volume apartments in this area as well. So both of those things combined, you would think increase my chances of getting an order. And that is it. That is actually all I got for this shift. So I think all signs point to the theory of the higher the bonus, the lower the hourly pay, or let's just say the slower it is. As of late, that is absolutely true. So again, $5.50 here in San Diego. That's about as high as I see. The highest I've ever seen is six, maybe $7. So. 550, even though it was in my go-to spot as mentioned earlier, which is typically never really slow. Well, it's never really slow on medium or medium high bonuses, not maxed out bonuses. So let's carry that into your marketplace. If your marketplace peaks out at $3, $4, five, whatever the max is for the bonus, think about the shifts at the max. And you're gonna wanna find a happy medium. I mean, I'm thinking it's basically 60%, mm, 70% of max. So if your marketplace peaks out at $4, I think 250, maybe $3 is a safe zone. So why are we finding that the higher peak pay is leading to slower shifts? Well, I mean, come on. 
it's mainly saturation, you would think right now. I know there's a lot of other factors, but I think we can put the majority on a driver saturation. Even in a continued busy area like my UTC marketplace, I mean, you can't argue with the fact that it was pretty dead. I had one stacked order and one other order. Now, one caveat. The one caveat is this is an extremely small sample size. I mean, come on, this is just a few shifts here, but I see a lot of you echo this in a Discord. Make sure to join if you haven't joined already over there. But down in the comments, on the community, really everywhere that, hey, on these maxed out bonuses, a lot of the times, saturation. Now, if you want ways to combat driver saturation, check the video linked above. But for now, let's go into those wonderful numbers. So tonight's stellar shift <laughs> was from 5.50 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. My total gross revenue for those three orders, $39, which equals a probably low of the past three or four months, a gross revenue per hour of $14.60. I completed, as mentioned, three deliveries. I did receive three tips with an average tip of $4. And my business miles were 27. Taking our standard IRS business deduction, that gives us a tax deduction of $15.53. Now I'm typically averaging around $24 per hour, give or take, that's in gross revenue per hour. And that's just an testament that these tips work. The A to Z from the Mastering and Delivery course, check it out, those tips work. They help you to maximize your revenue. But, I mean, I'll say it here, we don't wanna get greedy going after the highest dollar peak pay, thinking we're gonna make a lot of money because it's on a $5.50, which you should realize, well, is it really gonna be as busy as normal? If you got value in this video, definitely leave a like, and also make sure to check out the Amazon storefront. That's linked down below for the very best accessories. You can click or tap the screen now for my most recent video, as well as a video recommended for you, and I'll see you in the next one.